these dictionaries should also be one in Latin. Ah, here. Okay. Let's see. There's nothing on parati, but paratus means ready. Semper means always. Salvandum, mm, it says salvare, which means to rescue. I think it might mean always ready to rescue. Association. The engraving on that ring is the motto of the organization where Leonard did his lifeguard training. But that means this ring actually belongs to Leonard? No, it couldn't. The ring is so small it barely fits me. So there's no way it could fit on Leonard's huge hands. Hello? So, do you still believe I've abducted your husband? I don't know. But I think you've ruined my bathroom. <laughs> yes, I admit, that was my fault. And how did you do that, if I may ask? You may not. Did you find something? Yes, a ring. It's from my husband's lifeguard association. But it's too small to fit him. I think you should find out whose ring that is. Why? Why should I do anything you say? I'm not going to do anything unless you explain to me who you are and what all of this is about. As you will. Sketchbook. When inspiration hits you, you must drop anything else you're doing at once. That's the secret of creative people. Where does that painting come from? It shows Leonard and me, but as enemies? And is that a ring? I don't recall ever having painted that. Although it is exactly in my style, except I would never draw anything so bleak. But aside from that, it almost seems like someone tried to imitate my art style. It's an email. Printed out? It's from Leonard to somebody called Dairy91. This is about the ring. And it mentions two people that I've never heard of before. Dairy 91 appears to be somebody at Leonard's Institute. But who is this Elena? <laughs> A lecture script. It's from when I was studying art. I wish I never dropped out. is crying out to me to fill it with meaning. Colors are the key to... This is really weird. I found a ring in that bird's nest. And there's also a ring in the strange painting. This can't be coincidence. Right? Little messages we wrote to each other.
Lots of documents. Not mine. It's a leaflet from the INB. That's Leonard's Institute. He's working so much I hardly ever see him. So these must be Leonard's colleagues. I've never met most of them. <laughs> I guess Leonard prefers to keep his job and private matters separate. Sometimes Leonard stares at this when he's thinking. I have no idea of what it's called. I think it's boring anyway. Hey, isn't that Leonard? Those trunks look terrible on him. It seems that this was taken on an excursion with his lifeguard association. That must have been before we knew each other. <laughs> he seems happy. grandmother's then she gave it to me on my 18th birthday I would never buy something like this I find it a little tacky but somehow I like it the perception of time is a construct of the mind depending on internal and external circumstances distortable but never reversible I've heard Leonard say this phrase so many times that I already know it by heart with external circumstances they mean the snooze button right old radio. My grandfather gave it to me. I love how the buttons click when I push them. They made them to last. You can feel it. I don't get any program. Just noise. Huh. There's only two people that appear in both pictures. One's Leonard, and the other one is this woman. The names are listed under the picture. Daria. So Daria is not only one of Leonard's colleagues, but they already knew each other before working together at the Institute. He's never mentioned her to me. Dairy 91. That must be Daria, the colleague from the photo. And if she's a lifeguard too, then the ring with the Latin inscription belongs to her. Wait. So according to the email, Daria lost the ring and Elena found it. But who is this Elena? Could Leonard be cheating on me? Yes? It's me, Anna. Oh, really? <laughs> it's you? I don't even know who you are, because you just don't want to tell me anything. Why is that anyway, if you're such a good friend and not at all an abductor? I just... I simply can't. Uh-huh. And you can't tell me either where I could find my husband, right? No, but I want to help you. And you cannot deny that you are in need of help. So why don't you stop asking me the questions I won't answer and instead start asking me the questions that I can answer? <sighs> okay, I will play along. For now. Does... My husband have an affair? Yes. I don't believe it. I'm sorry. I went through his things, and I found the names of two women I've never heard of before. Elena and Daria. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Or is he having affairs with both of them? Doesn't Elena seem somehow familiar to you? <laughs> At best, she seems like a fraud. As if she's taken over my life, lived with my husband in my house, and even painting my paintings. But that can't be what it is, right? You witnessed a bunch of things today that are somewhat unreal. If you want to find the truth, you should keep an open mind to uh, unlikely things. <sighs> yeah, 
Of course. No problem. Don't give up, Anna. Is that the music box playing? That sounds terrible. It's got a hole on its side. Wait, there's something in there. A camera. It's pointing through the hole in the sidewall. I don't believe it. Somebody's put that there to surveil our bedroom? The memory card is still in there. I'm curious what's on it. I think our TV can read memory cards. A letter. To me? I've never seen it before. It says that I applied for a place on a treatment program. It's true, there used to be a time when I didn't feel so well, but it never got so bad that I would have needed professional help. A prescription. I don't recognize the name of the drug. A Polaroid camera. No, I will not take that thing. I knew it. There's a card reader built into the TV. Okay, let's see. I'll just pick a random file. Hmm. Our bedroom. Nothing more. Again, same thing. I think there's no point in watching all of them. There's just too many. Oh, God. is called The Kiss. How amazing. Two entwined lovers. It's not clear where one starts and the other ends, as if they were a perfect unit, but without giving up their individuality. It sounds a little stupid, but the picture feels like how I would like to feel about myself. Here. Okay, there's nothing so solve it's so I A letter to Leonard from his lawyer. Apparently, somebody close to Leonard died in an accident on the 15th of May, 8.30 p.m. But there's one thing I find much more disturbing. The letters dated to the 25th of June, 2020? That's a joke, right? Or maybe a typo? Yeah, it must be. The letter said that the accident happened on the 15th of May, 8.30 p.m. I wonder if... Yes. There are videos on there for the 15th of May. Here. 15th of May, 8 to 9 p.m. You're leaving? Yes. Where to? To work. Don't lie to me. You're going to see her, aren't you? Uh, 
Not this again. Tell me straight up at least. Helena. If you leave now, you don't have to come back at all. <laughs> you can stay at her place. But I'm curious about how you're going to live without my parents' money. Huh? It would be hard to continue your oh-so-important research without it. You would have to work as a waiter or as a cleaner, but no. <laughs> that would be beneath you. <laughs> you're made for more, aren't you? <laughs> I never asked for your parents' money. No. <laughs> of course not. You didn't accept the money until my parents practically forced you to take it. Please, Mr. Shriver, marry our sick daughter. You're so good for her. She's so much more stable since you came into her life. Please, calm down. Do you think you're the only one who can sleep around? I have sex all the time. Hot, rough, steamy sex with any man I could find. Please don't go. Emma. Hold me, please. I... Emma. Oh no. Anna? Are you there? Who are you? I can't. I've listened to a recording of a woman having a fatal accident. This woman had my voice. Not a similar voice, but exactly mine. I don't know how all of this could be possible, but if it means that I am Elena, that somehow her and me are the same person, then I've just witnessed my own death. So stop making excuses and give it to me straight. Yes. Elena is the woman on the recording. But you're not the same person, although you are somewhat similar. What do you mean, similar how? Anna, what is it that Leonard actually does at the Institute? I mean, what is his research on? He tries to understand how the human brain works, what makes intelligence, character, consciousness, that kind of thing. By recreating human thinking in a computer simulation. You mean... He did it, Anna. You can't be serious. He created artificial life, Anna. Only, there were consequences he didn't see coming. But where is he? Find a way out, and you'll find Leonard. It's locked. What the hell? The door has been boarded up from the outside. Possible. A stairway? In my storage room? Is this blood? Yes, it is. Dried blood. A lot of boxes. Wonder what's in there.
cap with lots of electrodes on it. I think it goes on your head. There are red stains on it, too. Mankind. Crown of creation. Or are we just animals with brains that have gotten a little too big? is my husband. I want to hear it coming from him. Good. One more thing. Out there, I probably won't be able to help you. You'll be on your own. Good luck. God. Where am I? Hello? Hello, Anna. Who are you? I am the computer system. Is there something I can do for you? Where am I? You are at the home of Leonard Schreiber. Leonard! I want to talk to him. Leonard is currently at the office, but I've already sent him a message informing him that you have woken up. As soon as he replies, I will let you know. How about you make yourself more comfortable, Anna? You have no access permission for this interface, Anna. An error occurred. Leonard? Hello, Anna. You are old. All of this must be a lot for you to Why process. are you old? Well, you were ill. And why was I in this container? I did this for you. For many years, you've been in a, a coma. In a coma? Yeah. What a load of crap, Leonard. Then why are you old while I'm young? I think you're lying. You're lying, and you only want to distract from what's really going on. I don't know why and how, but you've created some sort of clone of me. Who, who told you that? Didn't you? Elena is the name you gave her. And when she didn't comply with what you wanted, you... You killed her? Give me one good reason to not go to the police right now and tell them everything that I know. Go ahead. I don't think the system will let you out there. The building is now on lockdown. You see? You've changed. We're lovers. Doesn't that count for anything? If you don't respect what I might want, don't you at least owe me the truth? Why did you make a copy of me? You are the copy. What? Yeah. You, my dear, are a humanoid. A masterpiece, indistinguishable from the original. You are the copy. I have created you as a replacement for my late wife, Ellen, you see? 
The tank in the other room is where you've been born and raised, all while your consciousness was living in an artificial reality. Now you will stay right where you are, Anna, until I return home. And then I will reboot you and put you back in the tank!